fact, I started, uh, went into partnership with a, a gentleman who I knew in my village. So we, we sort of joined this practice and uh, within a year I had an opportunity to go in for a competition for the Creek Golf Club. I was uh, invited by Sheikh Mohammed's office to participate in the competition for the Creek one. There's no doubt about it that having had those early discussions with His Highness gave me a little bit of, a, a bit of an inside track. And so I'd sort of uh, realised that actually he would want something that was something that would stand out and would say this is Dubai, this is not Arizona or this is not America or something. The idea really was that I wanted something which uh, that looked like a Dow from whichever way you looked at it, and that's actually quite. Uh, if you only have one building, if you like, or one element structurally, then that's quite difficult because obviously, from one direction, it looks just like a sort of end-on version. So, taking these three elements and wrapping them around each other was quite important. And when I did the uh, had the perspectives done of the project, I just felt it looked too similar to Sydney Opera House. Sydney Opera House has uh, obviously curved shapes, uh, whereas I was very clear that every surface and every line had to be flat and straight rather than curving. The techniques involved are relatively sophisticated. There was a lot of uh, pre-stressing and the, the point about the scheme was that uh, I was very keen to make sure that it was very uh, pure. Uh, we involved some uh, structural engineers from Australia, uh, Bernacci Woodward, and they were specialists in uh, precast and, and uh, pretension work. And so what they did was they first of all built a sort of V-shape, when you look down at it from the air, sort of a V-shape uh, of, the, of the actual sail up to um, just above where the, where the arch is. And then everything above that is actually a precast and quite complicated to, uh, to install. But part of the, the, the benefit of that was that the structure itself had some sort of visible presence, shall we say. So when you look at a sail on a real dow, it's made of canvas and the canvas has to be sewn and the sewing has to have stitches. So the stitching is actually gives a, a bit of texture to something and I think it was one of those fortunate things that the structure actually helped to define that the architecture would have a little bit more of a, a three-dimensional tactile quality about it, which, which reflects really the Dow sale itself. So I think that worked quite well. So I commissioned this model, which cost me £100, and the model maker made it overnight and it was probably the most important hundred pounds that I've ever invested in my time and fortunately won the competition so then that brought me back to Dubai very quickly uh, after that so in 1989 I founded uh, Godwin Austin Johnson in the UK and in 1990 I was back here without expecting to be with the, with the golf club and then from that obviously uh, picked up new work it was a very uh, exciting time and when I was invited over to the press conference with uh, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Said uh, to present the scheme and so on, it was, uh, it was a really exciting time as you can imagine.